Hello YouTube. Um, right now I'm going to be doing a quick review on the Dell Streak 5. After I did the Dell Streak rooting, um, I had several questions regarding the Dell Streak and its functionality. So um, uh, I guess um, this is a review on that, on those questions. I'm not really good at it, so um, I'm usually dealing with ha hacks, mods, and stuff, and I'm still not even good with those. So um, it's my first review. Anyways, um, let's just get started, I guess. And beforehand, I want to apologize if I keep saying, um, 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 see, uh, it's pretty hard for me to stop saying it. saying it. I even took a communications class, and they couldn't get me to stop. So first, you have a home button here, then you have your setting buttons here, and then you have your back buttons. And um, on the side, you're going to have your camera button, your on and off button, which also works as a sleep button your volume rocker and your 3.M uh, headphone jack. On the bottom you're going to have your charging port and your sync port. Also um, on the front you'll have your front face camera which is the VGA which the quality is not that good and you can't record. It's only basically for video chatting and uh, self picture. And then you have your speaker, your mic over here, and on the back you have your um, dual flash, your 5 megapixel camera, and um, this whole thing on the back where the battery is supposed to be, or is, um, is your speaker. Now the sound quality on this is pretty, um, it's good, um, it's loud enough, and um, it's not uh, static or anything like that, so it's pretty good. Now. Let me just go into the one of the big... It is running on the 2.2 Android firmware. And um, it does support live wallpaper, as you can see in the back. Uh, one of the main features of the Dell Streak is the stage widgets, which is this one's right here. Um, this does come with seven pages, and uh, one widget actually takes up the, the entire page. Uh, so I have my contact widgets here, my social widget, which could either be um, Twitter or Facebook. Uh, your web widget where you have your bookmarks, easy access to your bookmarks and search, Google search and stuff. Then you have your home widget which um, um, keeps a list of your most recent um, opened applications so you can have quick access to them and it also provides you with um, the weather. And then over here you have your mail widget and your music widget, which um, gives you thumb, thumbnails of uh, your albums and stuff like that. And um, you can either scroll through um, by simply, I'm sorry about that, um, you can either scroll through your, your widgets, um, your state widgets by um, swiping to the sides, or you can use the, the bottom, if you press down here, um, you'll be able to move towards um, by simply doing the little icon thing. I don't know if you get to the little icons. Can you, if you want to go home, you go to the little house thing in here and your home. Now your phone widget. Oh man. Hope y'all don't get the numbers. Don't try calling those numbers. Um, this is your phone, which is pretty big screen, as you can hear the sounds. Uh, then you'll have your call log, your contacts, and your favorites. Now, if you go through to web browsing, it's a pretty decent size of screen. It is a 5.0 screen display, and um, it's pretty, uh, let's go to my site. It is pretty... Um, convenient, I guess you could say, uh, to use this. The keyboard itself, as you can see here, it does come with the swipe keyboard, which would be uh, this, and uh, uh, which is pretty interesting. Uh, however, I do have a problem with the keyboard in the sense that whenever I am, let me see if I can go through here, Whenever I am typing, um, I always tend to, whenever I'm going to put space, I wind up pressing the period or the, the comma and stuff, so. 
other than that, uh, uh, the pinch to zoom in, in and out is pretty decent. It's flawless. It's responsive. It's um, quite accurate. Uh, it does come with a 2.2 uh, uh, Android, so it does support uh, flash. Let me just go to the videos. As you can see, this is one of my videos. Um, Hello, YouTube. What I'm going to be showing you today is how it So, it does actually work. The flash. And it's, it's, it, the loading time is not, um, it doesn't take like tons of buffering and stuff like that. It's just really just pretty quick. And, uh, well, that's it for now. As far as uh, size wise, oh, I forgot before I forgot. You could um, use it in landscape mode or portrait mode. Portrait mode. And uh, let's just take a look at the size wise. I have my Arcos um, 5 here. And uh, I don't know if you can see it side by side. The Dell is still pretty big, uh, bigger than the Arcos 5. You put it on top. And just so you can see it. Still have tons of space left over on, this, on the top. So it is larger than the Arcos 5 uh, internet tablet, and if you compare it to the to the iPhone, as you can see, it barely covers the screen. You still have tons of screen left over. And now, if you compare it to the um, My Touch 4G, as you can see, you still have some screen left over. So it's 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 uh it's pretty big. And now if you compare it to the HTC, HTC HD7, which has a 4.3 screen display, um, I don't know if you can see, it still has a little bit of screen, and it only covers like the majority of the screen. You still have where the your front face camera is, and your your buttons, your home, and your setting buttons, and backwards buttons are. So that's it compared to size-wise. And um, I hope this answered some of your questions. I tried answering some of the questions uh, in this video that I had. Uh, I'll go ahead and do a more in-depth review when it comes to the camera, because I had questions regarding the camera. I also had uh, some questions regarding um, the actual internet. So I'll go in more into detail with the internet and the functions uh, from the internet and how it works and stuff. So that's basically it. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and y'all have a good day.